Hey everyone, it's Sammy, and welcome to Flashback Friday to 2012, I think I'm going to flashback. And um, this was, I think the original idea was Throwback Thursdays, and I think it was Marnie from Miss Gold Girl that originated this kind of video type idea. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, so correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I definitely saw Marnie do it, and I, yeah, I think she did start the idea, and I saw Kristen Game recently do it, and I thought it was such, um, it's a brilliant idea, because I often wonder, you know, when I watch people's, uh, you know, February favourites or August favourites, I wonder, are they still going to be favourites, like, in six months' time? So you never really kind of know. And um, so for me, this is really interesting. So I would love everybody that does favourites videos to do these as well. And um, I thought that I would go two years back and do... Because three years back, I wasn't doing favourites videos, but two years ago, I was. Uh, and go back to 2012. Now, I looked at the video and I thought, oh, I'll do my makeup a little bit similarly as I did in that video. And I even put on the same earrings. I still have the earrings. I didn't have the top anymore. Um, I just washed my hair, so it's not a hair up day. <laughs> my hair up days are when my hair needs washing, usually. And... Um, yeah, so I am going to go through the products that I had as my favorites in March 2012 and I'm going to tell you which ones I'm using, what I thought of them, you know, afterwards and what I still, you know, would I still repurchase them now. And again, at the end of the video, I'll tell you what I have on my face, but I'm going to start going through this list so I can't show you all the products because I don't have a lot of the products right now, but I'll definitely tell you what I, you know, thought of them. So the first product, my first favourite was SkinCeuticals Simply Clean Face Wash. And yes, I loved it enough to, I think I repurchased it twice. Um, I would still repurchase it apart from I discovered that like the place where I was buying it from was selling it way more expensive. Um, but uh, now that I remember, like, so I got really like fed up because it was like way more expensive than it should be. And it was a nail bar where I was buying it from that just happened to have SkinCeuticals. But I, um, I am um, actually on my way to City Pharma later today, so I'm definitely going to rebuy it because I do. It was good. It was actually good going through this list because I remembered how much I loved it. And I'm using an event cleanser right now, which I like as well. But SkinCeuticals, I definitely loved, and yeah, so that has stayed as a firm staple. The next one is Nuance by Selma Hayek Dual Face Makeup Remover. I did love it. I did use up the uh, bottle. I loved it. We can't get it here in France, so I have never repurchased it, but I, I definitely loved it. Then it's Chanel Vital Amir Aqua Foundation. I did repurchase that. I do love it, and I probably will be, you know, I've got 50 million foundations on the go at any given point, but I will be repurchasing as that is one of my probably, I don't know, top five, top 10 foundations. So I definitely will be repurchasing that. Um, Beauty Blender, uh, I have since bought probably five or six Beauty Blenders. Not that you would need to buy that many because I buy them for my kit as well. I don't want to say that, you know, you know, I go through them. I probably still have my first original um, beauty blender. They do change color a little bit when you wash them in the washing machine, but you know, it doesn't matter. I don't use those on my clients. I use them on myself. Um, Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer Trio. Now, I still have that trio and I love the colors and I love the fact that it was very, um, kind of, it has a lot of treatments in it. So it is really good for your under eye area. I noticed that on myself and on a lot of other people that I was using it on, it does crease insanely fast. It is very, so it's only really for kind of, I would say it's best for mature skin, very dry under eyes. Um, so yeah, it was a good product, but uh, I haven't repurchased it and I don't, I don't think I will because it just creases too much. Uh, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, always buy it, always have it. Uh, Deborah Milano Rosa Pesca Blusher. Uh, I'm wearing it today. Still have it. It's this is still the same one. Um, it's well, it used to be like a big dome. Now it's a tiny little dome. So I've used it a lot. Um, and yeah, I still love it. Um, I still love it. Use it. L'Oreal Eye Designer Crayon in 403 Taupe. Yep. Still use it. Still love it. Both for my eyes and my lips. So I was using this kind of, uh, I'll swatch it to you um, again. It's similar to um, 
Max Stone, but it is a little bit lighter and it's actually a little bit softer, even though it's in, like an eye crayon. So I was using this um, as a little outline for lips and also when you want a really, really kind of insanely nude lip, this is genius with lip glosses, um, even though it's an eye designer pencil. I also use it a lot on my lower, uh, not waterline, um, just lower lash line because it gives a pretty shadow. So yes, I have repurchased that a few times. Uh, MAC Faux Lipstick, um, no, is it here? I got it out, no, it's not actually here. I got it out, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show it to you. So MAC Faux Lipstick, it's a um, mauve rosy color. Um, I've since really gone off mauve roses on myself, I love them on other people. Um, so yeah, I'm not really using that, even though it's an amazing lipstick. Uh, MAC Hue Lipstick, Yes, and I'm out of it. I only have MAC Hue now left on my palette where I decant lipsticks, so I need to buy some more. And I, yeah, I use it all the time because it's one of the easiest least lipsticks to throw on without a mirror. Uh, Rouge Bunny Delicate Rouge in the color Hummingbird. Uh, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Uh, I, I still have it. So yeah, I still do have it, but I couldn't find it. So it's clearly in one of my mini little makeup bags that are... <laughs> in different bags um, but yeah I do uh, love Rouge um, Bunny Rouge Delicate Hummingbird um, then I have Bare Minerals Well Rested yes I still use it and I use it exactly the same way as I did on that um, video and there's still a tiny tiny bit left so I use it under as a brow highlight and then I use it just in the outer corner to clean up this is meant to be for under eyes I don't like it for that um, it just like, unless you have zero lines under your eyes, it will definitely bring them out. Even the lines you didn't know you have. Um, so I don't use it like as an under eye concealer, but I love it for what I use it for. Then Essie Beam Up, uh, I'm wearing it right now. When I was reading through the list, I got, oh my God, I forgot about that. Uh, this is, um, it kind of neutralizes if your nails have a slight yellow tone from using all those kind of reds or any kind of dark, um, dark, <laughs> mine went black, dark uh, nail varnishes, nail polishes, that thing. Um, so it really neutralizes them. And I went, oh my God, I've forgotten about it. So I put it on today. So yeah, I still use it. Um, I use it in the summer mostly because it makes your hands look more tanned. And then SC Lux Effects Shine of the Times. It's like a um, little glitter top coat. I do use it, uh, but I can't find it right now, but I do still use it and I do still have it. And then last but not least is Nails Inc. Basil Street. And yes, I do still use it and I do still love it. It gives that really kind of like foundation nail look uh, on my skin tone. So it makes your fingers look long because I don't have long fingers. I like my fingers to look a lot longer and more delicate. So that was all of my favorites in uh, for March, 2012. And yeah, check out the video below. And um, on my face, today so so <laughs> sorry if you don't want to hear what i have on my face today thank you so much for watching and let me know uh products that have stayed your firm favorites up for like years not necessarily holy grail stuff but what do you keep repurchasing and then also um yeah so if you don't want to hear what's on my face thank you so much for watching and bye um but if you do uh, stay tuned so i have on my lumine lumine in finish um CC cream in light. I use light and medium. I sometimes mix both of them. In the when I'm palest uh, in the winter, I use light, uh, medium in the summer, and in between I kind of mix the two. I really really like this CC cream. Then on top of that, I have some Mac Mineralize uh, skin finish in light. My blush is Rosa Pesca, so I'm using Rosa Pesca. But then oh, and as well as my current absolute love the um, Ila Musca Disabe for contouring. Does great cheekbones. I just, I, I'm just in love with this. And then I use a little bit of my Laura Mercier um, Secret Camouflage in SC3. I have a weird spot just under my eyebrow and I really hate it. And then I have, uh, I used a bit of uh, Max Paint Pot in Rubenesque on my eyelid. 
and uh, I use actually I use single eyeshadows today, which is really unusual. So I used three different uh, Milani baked single eyeshadows. So I used Drenched in Gold 606, and that I have kind of like in the inner half of my eyelid. Whoops. <laughs> then I used uh, what is this called? A copper excess copper excess 617 and then I used like on the outer part of my eyelid and then in my crease I have um, Rich Java 607 and I actually um, as a kind of a transition color I use this is so cute this is a tester I got from Chanel Le Beige like over a year ago and I use this as a transition Little, little tiny, it's like a perfect transition color for me. Um, like an eyeshadow instead of what it's meant for. And then I have on, uh, what else do I have? I've got, as an eyeliner, I have Max Dip Down. And then I have a little bit of uh, Ila Musca's Pure Pigment in Furore. Oh my God, I, I love this, I love this so much. I have it in the inner corner and also um, as like a um, highlight on the top of my cheeks. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing, amazing color. It's so fine as well. And I have Red Cherry 403 eyelashes. And I am wearing, this is the first time ever, um, so I don't know much about it yet. Too Faced Better Than Sex uh, mascara. So I only worn it once and I put on fake lashes so I can't really tell you um, how much I love it or if I don't love it. It's really heavy for a mascara. Uh, I'm giving uh, my eyelash extensions a little break. I'm using Varita Lash and giving my eyelashes a little bit of a break. They are an addiction and I admit to it. Um, but uh, actually the break was, I didn't wanna take a break. But the girl that does my lashes here in um, Paris, she's away on holidays. And um, I just thought, oh well, you know, since she's away, let's just enforce a break. Let's just take a couple of months off. Um, so um, I'm gonna take a couple of months off. And who knows, maybe a vital lash will make my lashes so amazing and so long that I won't want to, um, want to do extensions anymore. But I've got really kind of finish, like pale and not great lashes, so. I'm not sure. Uh, then I've got, uh, I don't have it here, but I have Omega, just Max Omega on my eyebrows with Shuimura Eyebrow Manicure. Love this stuff. My color is Ash Brown. And then on my lips, I just have uh, Max Patisserie. So I've clearly moved on to kind of a lighter nude from the Super Movie Nude in the last two years. Anyways, um, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this type of video, let me know below and I'll definitely make more of them because they're interesting to me. So I thought maybe they'll be interesting to you as well. So thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous weekend. Bye.